Hey everybody, Brett from Stardees Gaming here, back with another episode of our 1257 Anno Domini Let's Play. So, uh, it hasn't been too long between the end of last episode and the start of this one. Um, only, uh, not, not quite a day, I guess, in-game. Uh, but I've been bugging Merdid App Rice Grug, um, who is, again, the uh, owner of Aberfra. And it seems like he's had a falling out with the king, because uh, he has finally said something against the king. So I'm going to attempt to recruit him here. I figured I would do it on camera so you guys could see it if it actually went through. Uh, if not, we'll continue to bug him and try to do some quests for him to get our relation up. But there's definitely a rift forming here, and so we're going to try to take advantage of that. Um, yes, yes. Let's see. So, uh, what was his stance again? Um... So he's kind of a real... I don't think he's honorable, but um, we obviously don't care. We just want the town. So how do you feel about your current king? Uh, he confesses that sometimes he worries about the king's judgment, uh, particularly in the matter of the council that he keeps. So, uh, would you consider supporting us instead? Um, we'll stick with our usual line, and let's see what he says. Militar militarily, he would be safer with us. That is definitely true. Um, he's more comfortable with us and our companions than the current liege. And let's see... Uh, you speak for protecting the commons? Well, I suppose that will make for a more proper, prosperous realm. Uh, I've always tried to treat my peasants decently. Saves going to bed, <laughs> worrying about whether you'll wake up with a roof on fire. So, uh... He's, yeah, he's not honorable, but he... He sort of sees the, um... The benefits in treating your peasants fairly. So, uh, what do you think? Fantastic, we got him on the first try. Um, right, so... What's going to happen to the Welsh now? Because they no, ha they no longer have any territory. So now, uh, we are the king of Ireland and Wales, or at least what of Wales is still um, independent. So let's go to our new town, and we'll make sure our relation with them is pretty good. And then we have to see what exactly they're going to do. I'm not going to get involved in that. Right, so relations are neutral. Let's go into the tavern. We might throw some money at them just to boost our relations with the town. We can also consider doing a job for the guildmaster. Let's see, yeah. That'll boost us by one. That's actually a really ineffective way to boost your relations, but... Um, if you have no other options, at least that's always there. I think, I think you can do it once a week. But let's talk to the Guildmaster and see what he's got going on. Um, let's see. Group of particularly troublesome bandits. Huh. I'll accept, but there's a good chance that we'll fail this, because generally what happens with these quests is another party will catch them first. And, uh, you know, then you can't do anything except watch them get killed or wander and wonder why you can't uh, find them. Oh, there they are, troublesome bandits. Uh, I don't know that I want to fight them out on the open ocean, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, what do we want? We want you to die. So our 189 against 38. Let's go ahead and board. And this might be our first sea battle, actually. I'm going to lob some uh, javelins on in here. Oh, got him in the shoulder. Yeah, these guys don't have very good armor, so they seem to be go going down pretty quickly here. I'm going to cut around this way so I can get in behind them. Oh, he got back up. Oh, well. Let's move this way and get these guys. Oh, I missed you. Where's my sword? There it is. Oh, somebody got him in the face right as I was about to hit him. Ah, I can't get up there. Come on. Come on, guys. Let me through. Alright, don't let me through. Whatever. Let's see. So we wiped them out entirely. Uh, we'll take the two survivors prisoner. And let's get some upgrades here. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, uh, I'll take their loot, although it's not worth a whole lot. 
And I suppose now we can return and uh, collect our pay, but uh, more importantly, our relations with the town. So we'll talk to the guild master. 180, and relations with the town have improved. So let's see just how much they did. Oh, two points. That's not great, but at least we're up to three, so things are generally positive here. Um, we already have a die works here, so it's not like I need to invest any further. Um, but yes, now Wales is part of our kingdom. So what we need to decide moving forward is do we want to try to claim the rest of Wales from the English, um, which I think is just this castle. Um, I, I, I don't know which thieves these are associated with. I would assume that at least one of them is associated with Pembroke Castle, but the other might be associated with Chester, meaning we would have to take Chester in order to get both. Uh, but it is possible that both are associated with this, in which case we would just need to take the one castle. But then that puts us at war with a very large, very powerful faction, so that might not be um, ideal right now. We are almost the same size as them at this point, though. Let's see, they have one, two, three, four towns, which uh, is actually the same amount we have. Um, they have more castles, I would assume, but between Donegal, Dungannon, Dublin, and Aberfra, we have four towns as well. Um, and then, of course, the other option is we go after the Scottish and try to bring them into our kingdom. And uh, I think what we'll do today is we'll sort of begin working on that. Um, we're not going to go to war with them today, but what I can do is ride around and try to recruit some of the... Uh, Scottish lords that are friendly toward us and that will obviously give us a little bit of a foothold up here as well as uh, make the war easier because I don't need to worry about fighting all of their lords just some of them or probably most of them but you know the more we we take from them the less we have to worry about and the more help we'll have I'm gonna get these mountain bandits since they're right here uh, maybe not they're too fast okay forget it We'll continue north, and uh, we'll see who we run into up here. Alright, so we have a lord right here. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Ulium? Whatever. Let's uh, see here. So our relation is 24. Um, apparently we let him go free last time we fought. So let's see here. Any tasks? No? Um, what's your stance on politics and whatnot? Keep faith to your promises, not do injustice to others. Uh, so he is honorable. I'm surprised our relation's not higher with him, actually. How do you feel about the uh, current king? Oh, uh, well, that's a shame. Okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Um, you know, when we defeat Scotland, we'll consider bringing you on. Uh, we have another guy here by the same name. Come on, where are you going? There was another lord that way as well, but... Uh, Probably lost him at this point. Um, not particularly great relations with you. Uh, our relations did just go up two, though. Let's see. What's your stance on politics? Oh, I think he's bugged. I think he's bugged the same way that uh, Fingin McCarthy was. So, unfortunately, we won't be recruiting him. He's likely not honorable, though, so I don't think it'll matter. Justicar of Scotia. You might be honorable. Um, let's see. Ah, too many other lords nearby. Let's let you get some space then. There we go. And we'll see if we can maybe recruit him. Uh, I'm wondering if the King of Scots is honorable because it seems like these honorable lords are going to be reluctant to leave him. Uh, which they might be anyways because, of course, honorable lords don't like to be disloyal. But... Uh, they're generally a little bit more loyal to kings who are also uh, honorable. Let's see. Keep the peace, prevent war against all, but that must not blind us to the possibility of justice. So I don't know that he's honorable, but he's definitely um, more honorable than dishonorable. So how do you feel about the king? Okay. So it seems like everybody is pretty content with the current king, which is going to make this really difficult. Uh, one thing we could do is maybe look at property in some of these towns if we, you know, eventually do plan on conquering them. Of course, if we go to war with Scotland, we won't be able to collect any revenue there, but um, 
I suppose that is fine. As long as it's briefly. Uh, so let's see, 75. Uh, 85. 141. What about the wine press? 79. Um, 127. 71. And then finally the weavery and dye works would be 339. Uh, the Weavery and Dye Works is generally the best investment because uh, it usually has the greatest profit, but uh, it's also by far the most expensive, so that's kind of unfortunate. That is a lot of money to throw down for only a profit of 339 So, I'm going to skip this one for now. We can always come back and consider it later, but I'm going to go to Sterling and see if uh, Dye Works there would make us any more money. Um, for some reason the populace likes us, that's interesting. I wonder if I fought, I might have fought a uh, tournament here or something and won. That might be why they like me. So let's see. Um, profits here any better? Uh, so far, yes. It seems like all the profits are a little bit better. That's actually more than the die works would have made at the other place. Uh, but we'll see if a die works here is more lucrative. The ironwork is actually a pretty good amount. 375, yeah, that is actually really good. Um, 323, so I think the, yeah, I clicked on the oil press on accident there, but the dye works, or excuse me, the ironworks is uh, the most lucrative, and it's actually a fairly small investment, so we'll definitely do that. And let's go into the tavern real quick. We'll go ahead and boost our party's morale. And there's some mercenaries there. I don't really have room for mercenaries. Uh, are you a ransom broker? No, just a traveler. Alright. Well, that's a little bit more property for us. Um, is this a town or a castle? It looks like a castle, but it's kind of hard to tell because of the... Yeah, that's got to be a castle. The font is smaller. Hmm. Well, Glasgow is a little bit too poor at the moment to really justify spending anything there. Um, let's go to York. Maybe I'll make some investments in York and then we'll head back home and see how our stuff is doing there. We do, we do need to check in on our manor because those um, buildings should be done fairly soon. And then we can go ahead and start, you know, the next tier of upgrades. Uh, especially now that I know that we can have them building several things at once. Um, we can get a lot of things going and, you know, really start cranking money out of that place. But uh, it's nice to have these sort of passive income buildings as well. So let's talk to the Guildmaster here. We'll see what uh, things are looking like. Oh, Guy de Montfort. Unfortunately, yeah, we're not friends with him. So, it looks like we won't be building anything in York. Um, we've got to go th through Chester to get to Ireland anyways. Or at least that would be the most efficient way to go. So let's stop in Chester and see if maybe we can make an investment there. Let's see. Oh, there's Aid O'Connor. Alright, Chester. Let's talk to the Guildmaster here. And I don't recall who the Lord is here. Or whether, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we're not friends with many English lords, so doesn't look like we'll be able to make any uh, investments anywhere around here. All right, well, let's let's head back to Dublin. We'll check on the manors, um, and then we'll figure out what we want to do from there. But do not forget to let me know what you guys think about, you know. What our plan should be moving forward. Do we want to go after the rest of Wales? Do we want to conquer Scotland? Uh, because I'd like to start that next episode. And so I'll need to hear from you guys before we do that. Um, today we're just going to try to sort of prepare. Because either way, you know, we're going to war. So we need to be ready for that. And we want to um, make sure our party is as uh, strong as possible. I'll probably leave these pirates I have in Dublin. Um, as part of the garrison and recruit some, maybe some more Welsh archers or something, or maybe more cavalry. Uh, either way, I think that would be very helpful, but pirates are not the best. They're cheap, though, and so they're 
worth throwing in a garrison when you come across them. So, Mr. Seneschal, how are we doing? Uh, okay, so all of the building projects are done. Fantastic. Let's see. I don't remember what the housing requirements are. So... I don't know if I want to build more housing yet. You know what? Let's do it. So 3,000. Um, I'll probably do an oil press because that is pretty lucrative as well. That's six, so we'll need nine. And then we'll probably do one more thing. So maybe a linen workshop? That's going to be six as well. Okay, so 15 in total. 15,000. Let's go ahead and uh, leave that. So we'll do 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And can I collect the change that's sitting in here? So it's 2. And I think it was 230, so... I wish it would tell me how much is in there. Oh, it did right here. So 15,007. Perfect. Let's go ahead and build uh, the housing. We'll build the oil press. And then we'll build the linen workshop. So let's see. Um, we currently have a marketplace, a tavern, a monastery, grain farm, livestock farm, fruit farm, pottery. It just says pottery. I feel like it should be called something like a potter. Uh, wool workshop, walls. And we're currently building the oil press linen workshop, and uh, I don't know why it's not mentioning the housing, but it should be working on that as well. Okay, so keep up the good work. Let's check in on our uh, warehouse and see if there's anything in here that we can go sell. Uh, looks like we got some pottery and some wool cloth that we can go get rid of. Um, I'm going to have to make some room here. There we go. And so let's go try to make some money off of that. We'll also unload all this junk in Dublin too. And maybe we'll come back for this. And before we leave, I do want to check in on a few of our other places. Because I want to make sure that I'm being paid in tribute. Uh, wherever possible. Just because that seems to be the best way to make money. Oh, there's our walls. Awesome. Um... But yeah, the, the tribute is generally far more lucrative than what you would be getting in terms of just, like, tax revenue. So, uh, you know, whenever possible you want to do that. But I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure we've talked to everybody, actually. So maybe I'm just wasting my time here. Yeah, you know what, forget it. Okay, so let's head down to Dublin. We're going to go ahead and unload all that junk. Um, I will probably shop the goods around a little bit just to see where the best place to sell them is. But if we get a reasonable price in Dublin, we'll sell them here. So let's see. All of this can go. Ah, that reminds me. Where is it? This reminds me. Um, we'll take a look at that in a second. So let's see, uh, I feel like I could maybe do better on the pottery, but the wool cloth is actually a reasonable price here. Ah, uh, that's too much. We'll sell it to the goods merchant. They should have more money. There we go. Uh, so 93 there. It's worth 100 generally, so this is a little bit less than market value. And I could probably make more money on the wool cloth elsewhere too. You know what, let's hold on to it, and we'll see where we can do it. But, um, I did go ahead and make Mr. McCarthy here a uh, knight, so he is Sir McCarthy at the moment, and, uh, he now has a Sir coat with a big red X across it, which is the, um, the symbol of St. Patrick, so he is our first knight of St. Patrick, and, uh, I'll be making a knightly order out of them in the future, so, uh, any new characters that, you know, join our faction or join our playthrough could uh, eventually um, you know join in with him and I'm gonna have various levels so 
they aren't all going to start as knights. They'll start as maybe like, you know, regular footmen, but they will have some sort of red X emblazoned on their armor, whether it be a gambeson or whatever. And then eventually they can become, you know, sergeants and knights of the Holy Order. Um, and maybe some of these other characters can join in as well, um, with a few exceptions, but we'll see. So, anyways, let's go to Dungannon and see what the prices are like there, and then if they're not great, we'll go to Donegal and see, um, you know, what they look like there. Just so we know where we can sort of maximize our profits, because we're going to be selling a lot of this stuff in the future. Um, obviously, we'll be getting paid in goods basically every week, so... We want to make sure we're getting good money for it. Um, it seems like the wool cloth is about the same here. Uh, I think that's five more than it was in the other place, but obviously that's not really um, a whole lot. Uh, I am going to boost my men's morale. In, in this mod, you really need to stay on top of that because um, morale falls off very quickly if you're not fighting and winning battles. So pretty much every time you stop by a... Uh, tavern you want to make sure that you you're throwing some money at the the brothel or whatever let's see which village um carrick okay yeah we'll help irish villages i don't mind doing that but before we do that let's head to donegal and make sure that we have checked the prices everywhere if they're not better here i might just unload them here for the sake of convenience so let's see uh ooh, a lot worse here Okay, in that case, I'll hold on to them and sell them. And let's see. Well, Carrick's there. Let's ride through Dungannon. We'll unload them there since that was the best prices. And then Carrick is right next to it. So we're not losing too much time. There's Amlay. We haven't seen him in a while. All right, so marketplace, goods merchant. Let's just ditch it here. Um, actually, we're making less on it than we would have last time, but whatever. I don't care right now. Um, we do need food. So let's grab that. Uh, I'll take some more bread, some more grain. We still made 500, so that's not too bad. And let's go deal with these bandits. Denmark and... I don't think those factions are anywhere near each other, so I don't know how they're actually going to fight. But whatever. Uh, oh, I wonder if there's like a crusade or something going on. Because I think this is a, an eastern faction. So it could be some sort of crusade. Let's see. 50 bandits. All right. Let's take care of them. All right. They're going to line us up straight across. Oh, wow. You guys are all on horseback. Or at least a lot of you are. Oh, how did I get his horse? Did everybody charge? Like, why? Why has nobody died yet? Nah, I don't want to get caught dealing with all you guys on foot. Uh, let's keep the shield up. Oh, that was a bit late. Where'd you go? There you are. Come on, good ducking. Alright, down you go. Oh, you cut me off. Or I cut your horse down. Uh, I'm getting shot a bunch here. Why isn't everybody attacking? Why is this taking so long? Oh, I can jump other horses. Nice. Uh, let's go around. Cut this guy down, maybe. Am I a lot lower? Why do I feel so much lower? Like, he looks like he's way higher up on his horse than I am. Ah, that was early. And that was way off. There we go. Uh, you already got him. So let's see. Is there anybody left? I think I killed most of the people back here. There we go. We got them all. Fantastic. Alright, so this place is now safe from bandits. No casualties for us. A few of the peasants were killed, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to refuse and take the honor, as I generally do, just because honor is somewhat hard to come by. Uh, definitely harder than gold, so um, I take it when I can get it. And uh, gain gaining honor is, of course, 
essentially free relations with uh, any honorable lords, so um, it's worth doing. I'm going to ride back to Dublin because I did forget to leave uh, those men in the garrison. And our weekly budget is in. Uh, it looks like we are turning a profit, albeit a, albeit a small one. Um, so our dye works at Aberfra is kicked in here, as are our two iron works. Um, I don't recall if we built anything in Dublin. We should actually check while we're there. But, um, you know, obviously we want to have that. And then we did just build an iron works up in, was it, I think, Sterling? So next week we'll be seeing the profits from that as well. And we'll keep investing in, in uh, further properties just so that we are making a lot of passive income as well as um, the tribute through the manor that we have to actively go sell in order to make money. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's in the green. That's all we can really ask for. We have quite a bit of money in our treasury in Dublin. Um, that's also not taking into account the 60000 I have here. Okay, so I meant to leave these pirates here. And then that'll leave me seven slots for some new troops. Um, let's talk to the guildmaster again and see what the various profits are. I think we had looked at investing here, but the prosperity was really bad. So I'll give it another look, and if there's anything that has a reasonable you know, profit margin, I'll go ahead and invest in it. But uh, according to you guys, the best way to up our prosperity here is to just continually buy and sell things, which uh, is an option. Hmm. Let's see. So it looks like the die works is going to be the most lucrative. 328 isn't terrible. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. That is more money than I would like to spend, but whatever. And then what I could do to make this place more lucrative is buy the stuff that they're producing here and then go sell it elsewhere. Um, and alternatively, bring stuff from elsewhere and sell it here. So I'm going to do that. We'll grab all the iron and the wool cloth. And uh, I'll see if I can turn a profit on any of this. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be 2000 Whatever. So, I think iron is going to sell best in Scotland. Uh, we can see if anything might turn a profit up here. You know what? I don't think it will. Let's go to Aberfra and we'll see what stuff sells like there. Uh, we can hit Chester, York, Sterling, and Glasgow. Because that seems like a little bit more efficient. Oh, something is under attack. Dolbadarn. Where the hell is Dolbadarn? Uh, that's in Wales. We're headed there anyways, so I guess that worked out. But it looks like the, um, the Bohemians, I think, are attacking us. Uh, we are, of course, at war with them after we attempted to start a war between them and somebody else. So, oh, the Holy Roman Empire is attacking us. I didn't realize we were at war with them. That's not good. Let's see. He's running off. So, oh, our truce with Norway ended too. That's not good. If he's running away, let's stop in town here. He'll probably come back. We'll run him off again. So, can I turn a profit on any of this? Uh, that is less than we purchased it for, as is that. That is a small profit. Um, that would be a loss. So it doesn't look like I can really make money off of any of that. Let's see, are any of these nearly empty? I think that first one was the most. Yeah, get rid of that. Put the bread there. And at least we made a little bit of money. Again, I, I'm more interested in making Dublin um, prosperous than I really care about whether or not I'm making a huge profit on this trading stuff. I don't know why we're at war with the Holy Roman Empire. Maybe the Bohemians were um, vassals of theirs or something? I could certainly see that being the case. Cowards. Well, we've chased them to Chester, so we'll go ahead and just uh, poke our heads in here and see what kind of prices we can get. So, let's see. Um, that is a huge loss on the iron. 
Um, that is a small profit on the ale, so I'll sell that here. Um, might buy the beef. Nah, I don't need it. Okay, so will I catch either of these guys? 4.7, 4.4. How fast am I? 4.2, so no, I likely won't. Aid, why didn't you attack him? There you go. Run him down. The other guy's going to sneak behind us and hit our villages, but I can't really help that. Someone else is going to have to get him. I'll, I'll probably leave both of them to my other lords. I've got, you know, other business to take care of, and it doesn't seem like we can catch them. We're getting too slow. Uh, yeah, right back to Dolbadarn. So I'm going to need to boost our pathfinding, as well as find some other ways to improve our uh, speed, but... Obviously, if we're not fast enough to catch those smaller lords, then we need to do something about it. Numbers are great, but if you can't actually catch people to defeat them, then, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see. Iron, that looks like a loss as well, um, as is the wool cloth. So, hopefully, uh, Scotland has some better prices for us, because it um, looks like England and Wales certainly do not. Yeah, still under attack. I don't know why it keeps giving me notification of that. Uh, yeah, it's been raided. Whatever. Who's this guy? Patrick the Third, Earl of Dunbar. Let's have a chat with him. Why are you fleeing? I hate that they do that. I wish they had smarter AI to the point where they could see somebody was trying to talk to them. Uh, you're not honorable. Let's see. Uh, what do you want? Five Scottish heavy footmen. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time for that. Let's see. What's your stance on stuff? Okay, so you're an opportunist or something. And you're loyal to your king. Alright, well, then our business is concluded here. So off to Sterling. Um, I'm sure we'll see another one of our villages come under attack very shortly here. But again, there's not really a lot I can do about it. Um, I have better things to do than, you know, defend villages. So, hopefully the lords can handle that for us. Um, that is a terrible price on that iron, but the wool cloth will turn us a small profit. So at least there is that, and then maybe we can sell the iron here. But it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to make a profit on iron anywhere around here. Uh, actually, yeah, right here. Fantastic. That was uh, actually... A substantial profit. It seems like uh, because this place is turning iron into tools, they're going to need more iron than anybody else. And they actually have none at the moment, so yeah, I mean, this is the place to sell it. I'll buy some smoked fish while we're here, too. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to sell that coat of plates as well. Why do I have that? Where did that even come from? Um, what's this worth? 16? Oh, they don't have enough. Uh, maybe the arms merchant will. No. Horse merchant? No. Goods merchant. Uh, it's closer. In that case, give me more fish. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. So, we were able to sell that stuff. Um, I guess the question now is, what do we want to... Maybe if we buy tools here, we can sell them in Dublin for a profit. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good price or a bad price, but we haven't seen a lot of tools, so I'm going to grab them and we'll see if we can make money off them. If it's a loss, then so be it. But, um, again, we haven't really seen a lot of those around, so I'm willing to bet that maybe I can make a profit on them. Maybe. Alright, so we're coming up on Dublin. We'll see if uh, they are interested in these tools here. So, what are we looking at? No, that is a substantial loss. Maybe Dungannon? Um, yeah, another one of our Welsh villages has been attacked. I don't know why none of the lords over there are defending it. There are several lords who own land there, so... One would think that they would be interested in, you know, protecting that area, but it doesn't seem like they are. Which is unfortunate. Um, that's also a substantial loss. I think we actually got these for a pretty poor price. Um, we haven't been doing a ton of trading in this playthrough, obviously, so I'm not 
too familiar with like what a good price on certain items is. I'm just looking at what we bought it for versus what we're selling it for. Um, and yeah, it seems like in Ireland the tools are actually much cheaper. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these to Dublin despite it being a, a pretty significant loss. Again, because I, I'm just trying to boost the prosperity there. If I can make money off of this, great. But um, if not, I may as well sell them here where uh, we'll be doing some good in another way. Okay, so here you guys go. I'm losing a ton of money on this, so hopefully the prosperity boost is significant. Um, let's talk to the guild master and I just want to check in and see like what our current prosperity is so let's see the wealthiest town in Europe is whatever the hell this is uh, here in Dublin we are poorer than 72 towns and richer than 38 so uh, we're in like the bottom third roughly in terms of local industry the most productive town is known to be sterling okay cool and we just bought property there fantastic uh, in Dublin, we produce less than 69 towns and more than 41, so a little bit better in terms of productivity, but um, prosperity is still pretty low. And then, let's see, looks like the surrounding villages are in the middle of the pack. I guess that's not the worst, but... Uh, yeah, I really want Dublin to be prosperous, and so we're going to have to keep working on that to make it happen. I guess another thing I could do is all of the villages around here, you know, we could start building mills and things like that, and boosting the prosperity of the surrounding villages might help boost that too. That's something to consider at least. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check the time right now, and I'll see what we are going to do from there. Well, I didn't realize we were actually uh, over on time, so I'll cut it here. And uh, again, let me know what you guys think about um, what we should do for the next episode. Do we want to take the rest of Wales? Do we want to start going after Scotland? Um, either way, you know, we're going to have to start a war. Although, I'll probably try to either at the, uh, between episodes or at the start of the next episode, make peace with the Holy Roman Empire and the uh, Kingdom of Bohemia. Because we don't want to be at war with them, especially the Holy Roman Empire, uh, while we're going to war with one of these two factions. So... Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Anno Domini with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.